Greetings ladies and gentlemen. Knowing the current even as comes to its end, and the next event has been announced, that is the on mark at millennium event, and this event is lasting for 2 weeks. This event introducing new to regular student, Noah and you to her cheer squad. Also, you can obtain a Hibiki cheer squad through the event as well fair student. First, let's talk about the event stages and feature. The better way to farm event currency are on these quest stages. For the event shop, only buy what is seems to be necessary to you. There's milestone rewards after reaching certain point, and max rewards from point milestone is 15k point. The event point can be used or exchanged into this feature. And it work the same like lesson feature, but cost you event point, and rewards you artifact. Hibiki cheer squad elf. For Eligma and selected student elf has very low chances to obtain them. And this feature was a great opportunity to obtain wolf's eggs as much as you want. Also, the higher the stadium level is, the better artifact rarity you can get. Maximum stadium level is level 5, and there will be 100% chance to drop tier 1 to tier 3 artifact, and Hibiki cheer squad elf. Let's talk about Hibiki cheer squad, the welfare student from the event, and how necessary she is to you. Hibiki cheer squad are appear as striker area damage dealer, explosive as her attack type, and light as her defense. Moving to her skills, her X skill, she deal area damage with incredible area, and inflict burn damage that lasting almost forever. But her drawback from this skill are comes with massive X skill cost, making it quite complicated to activating her X skill. And you'll need a student with X skill cost cut ability, or X skill regeneration to tame this massive X skill cost. Although if you have some student that I've mentioned, it is not necessary to build Hibiki cheer squad at the moment. Unless if you're lacking a area dealer just to clear this raid boss on insane difficulty. Sure she can help you to clear that difficulty, but keep in mind, she doesn't help you to get platinum. Her basic skill, increase attack to one ally and herself with moderate amount lasting half minute. 22% sound not even that high, but for her, it mean a lot since she has very high attack stats. Her enhanced skill, increase attack that more than average, but the cost is reducing her critical damage. Either good or bad, I actually don't really know about this stats trading. And her sub skill, additional damage every time she damage an enemy. If the enemy is close or further, the additional damage either get reduced or increased by 0.5 or 2 times. In other words, if the enemy is near, then the additional damage will only deal 1.7% to 3.2% than what it written. And if the enemy is further, her additional damage will deal 6.8% to 12.8% damage. Sound very confusing but she is not the student that you should think about, since she isn't necessary to build anyways. If you try to build her just for regular stages, there's another drawback as well from her basic attack. Despite she is natural area damage dealer, she have very slow attack speed. Making the enemy get defeated way sooner, before she did basic attack. So there you go about Hibiki cheer squad. It is better to avoid any investment on her if you already comfy with your current explosive dealer. Not necessary to build though, for now. Now let's talk about featured banner. Here we have Noah and Juta her cheer squad. Both are regular banner, or will be added into permanent recruitment. First, let's talk about Noah. Noah appear as striker support debuffer, special as her defense. Not necessary to talk about her attack type and terrain suitability, supporter are universal in term of usages until become unusable. Moving on to her skills, her X skill, apply focused fire to one enemy, 
and decrease their defense by moderate amount last 40 seconds. She is just like another version of Akane, that appear with different defense type. Also has higher death defense ratio than Akane but costing one more than her. Sure, you'll find her nothing interesting on the first released, until Goth Raid Boss, and Torment difficulty is released. Her basic skill is just very basic skill, deal damage to one enemy. Her enhanced skill, increase HP is important for supporter, but the enhanced skill plus increase attack is something no need for supporter like her. The sub skill, when her basic skill is activated, apply buff called increase her debuff duration for the next debuff she apply to the enemy. To simplify, her X skill will last longer than what it written if you apply her debuff right after her sub skill is activated. And that's it about Noah, is it necessary to pull her? Probably no, if you're beginner casual and semi-competitive. Having her or not, doesn't make you a huge impact to your gameplay, unless if you're a truly expert player. Expert player find her useful on Goz and Hieronymus, insane and torment difficulty. And the other student are Utah cheer squad. Appear as strike a single damage dealer, mystic as her attack type, and special as her defense type. Moving to her skills her X skill, enhanced her sentry and her basic attack will deal 146% of damage. Meaning, it improved her basic attack and basic skill damage. Additionally, the requirement to activate it her basic skill is changed from active every 30 seconds into active every 6 basic attack. Which her basic skill are become spammable. The duration from her X skill is very long. So you don't need to worry about spamming her X skill. Just once or twice is enough. When her turret is enhanced, her basic skill activation requirement changed into every 6 basic attack. If we talk about seconds, she need around 20 seconds to cast basic skill, but you can make it even faster by unlocking her enhanced skill plus. And last is sub skill. Additional damage when attacking enemies with any debuff status. It's a nice additional damage since she has fast attack speed. So there you go about you to her cheer squad. In my experience it's not necessary to take her unless if you need another mystic dealer. And of course, you'll need huge investment as well to make her become compete with the other mystic dealer. If you're casual or beginner, better build your Asuna instead of pulling and building this student. Overall. Both banner are very skippable, and better save your pyroxene for upcoming limited, or better student instead. And that should be all, godspeed.